when you think about neurotransmitter, you have to think about the production of it, the receptor and the termination. And there's enzyme cofactor, there's nutritional intake. So that's where we get into like, okay, you could take some supplement. GABA is a large neurotransmitter. The molecular size of GABA is very large. GABA that's made outside of the brain typically does not cross the blood brain barrier to get into the brain. So GABA that's produced externally, like in your gut, does not cross. GABA that you take in a supplement typically does not cross the blood brain barrier due to its large molecular size. So if you take GABA and you feel like it actually relaxes you, make you feel less anxious, that means that you have a blood brain barrier compromise. Your blood brain barrier is probably porous or damaged or there's a breach in that blood brain barrier. The blood brain barrier is simply the blood vessel that supply blood to the brain and then limits what molecule can get through because it's trying to protect the brain. So whatever you make in the brain is whatever GABA that you get to use. It's made locally and it's used locally.